What's up guys, back with part 2 of the Shazam Ali reviews and it looks like Shazam Man won the voting poll but Darla was a top contender so she will be next. Now for those wondering what the Shazam family is and what this gooey monster is here, you can check out Freddy's review right up here where I explain both. Alright, enough chit chat, let's get this review started with Captain Sparkle Fingers. It's not my, it's not my name! Starting with Box Run, we get the same sweet package as Freddy's except this one has Shazam in it and Wrath. Here's one side and the other side with the holes in the package, there's the top and the bottom, and here's the back with the sham glam and power slinger glam shot as well as the other figures that I have, and of course, the UPC. And there he is guys, Zachary Levi in action figure form, and dressed up as Shazam. But anyways, starting with the head, we get another fine head sculpt from Mattel. The likeness to Zachary Levi is pretty good for what $10 can get you. And if you look closely at the eyes, you can see they use that photorealism dot pattern paint application there. Or at least a, a $10 version of it. And since he's Shazam, of course he has some fancy and Nancy hair. Lots of details and sculpting and texture. But honestly, this Power Slinger head sculpt is just a shrunk down version of the Thunder Punch Shazam head sculpt. Like really shrunk down, and of course since his head sculpt is bigger, he has much fancier and nancier hair. What? And moving into the body, we get another Sparkletacular sculpt. He has some super ripped abs there, as well as some nice muscle sculpting all around, and he's got some nice suit details sculpted in there, as well as that little micro texturing suit detail as you can see there. And he has a Shazam-tastic Thunderbolt there, and I lucked out and got another clean paint job. He has a nice Thunderbolt sculpted on his belt there, and the belt goes all the way around, and he has the same connecting point as Freddy's for his cape right up there, and the same Lego Jumbo on the top here too, man. And his cape has nice detailing overall, and it's nice and soft and flexible, and connects to the front portion right up there. And you get that nice edge pattern there that goes along both edges of the capes. And you get some more nice sculpting on the arm there, as well as some nice texturing of the suit, and some serious muscles. And you got the little gauntlet here, which I like, nice and gold, and it has some nice strong texturing there, unlike Freddy, except this one has a little chip on the side. I guess he punched somebody a little bit too hard with his open-fisted hands. And you get more of that suit details and texturing down the legs there, as well as his super muscular thighs, although not too muscular, you know, it's just, it's just about right. And then, of course, you get the fancy Nancy boots at the bottom that have nice sculpting and a little bit of marbling, but like I said before, I like that marble. And there's bottom of the feet. Now if you've seen my Freddy review, you're probably thinking the same thing that I am. Is this the exact same Freddy suit except with a Shazam head? The answer? It is. Taking a closer look at the bodies, you can see the exact same muscle sculpt, the suit line details right there, the thunderbolts, even the arm details, all the same. Although the outer gauntlet here has a much cleaner and more defined sculpting than Freddy's does, as you can see here, so I really think the mold was wearing out when they were making Freddy's gauntlet. And looking at the legs here, the similarities continue with the little suit sculpt lines right there, the muscle sculpt overall, and even the boots. Although one difference that I did notice is that Freddy's here, if you see, he's got a little black legal mumbo jumbo on his leg right there while Shazam does not. So that's cool. And the capes here are also the same, no surprise. And so is the back underneath the capes. Let's see, yeah, get that up, come on, yeah, 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 yeah no, yeah, there we go, okay, yeah, see, they're, they're exact same. Uh, and it should come as no surprise that he has the exact same articulation with his rotating head and his rotating arms there with his shoulder joint, rotating elbow that goes up and down. Make sure you don't break it by, you know, breaking it. Then the hand spins there, does that thing. He's got the waist swivels and his legs go that far forward but not back at all because of the boot taste sculpt. He has a 90 degree knee and his boot spins in a circle. Now Mattel using the same mold for both figures might seem like kind of a, a cheap out there but honestly we haven't seen the movie yet and they may actually have the exact same suits in the movie so that wouldn't really be Mattel's fault, so we'll just have to see the movie and, and take a look. But honestly, I took a look at the other figure, like uh, Eugene right here, and it looks like he has a slightly different sculpt on his suit, so we'll take a closer look at that when I review him. And I think Darla has a different suit too, but you know, we'll just have to compare him and see when I review her, you know? Yeah, sarcasm, of course she has a different suit, she's a girl. And for accessories, he comes with this Wrath Demon Power Slinger from the Seven Deadly Sins. Get those guys out of the way. Yeah. Now, if you guys are wondering what these Seven Deadly Sins are here, and you missed Freddy's review, you can tap this little button right up here and watch his review and it'll explain everything you need to know. 
Now taking a closer look at this Wrath Power Slinger here, he has a pretty nice molded sculpt overall. He's got some nice little spikes here, which are soft, obviously, because he's just a gummy mold. He's got a nice face there, kind of hard to see because of his glossiness. Got a little fist going on there, and overall he looks like he's probably going to be kind of a mammoth of a character in the movie, just, you know, size-wise. So. So this is definitely not true to size, but I think in the movie he's going to be huge. Just like with the Pride figure that came with Freddy, he actually gets very thin in the arms when you start stretching it out, so it limits just how far you can pull it, so it's probably going to limit the distance, but let's find out. Alright, let's charge him up, get my finger in there, pull back, oh man, it just feels like it's going to tear already, okay. I'm going to hold the upper legs there so that it doesn't quite tear. I guess that's not too bad. It's got some power to it at least, so it, it can definitely fling across the room. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but he landed in a really dusty corner and he picked up a whole bunch of lint. It's kind of sticky, so yeah, be careful about that. I, I, I think I'm gonna go wash him off real quick. And now for an intermission. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. He's nice and clean now. And here he is next to the Pride Power Slinger, and as you can see, they're both pretty well sculpted. They have some nice details on them, nice molding, and overall they're both gooey and sticky and demons. But honestly, let's see how well they fare against Shazam and Freddy. And for some comparisons, here he is next to Freddy McFredface, along with his Power Slinger. And here he is next to the Infinity War and Endgame War Machine. Hasbro seriously just repackaged him for Endgame. And here's the Infinity War Hulkbuster Hero Vision, the Mattel Basic Aquaman Aquaman, the DC Multiverse Orm, the Marvel Legends Goose the Cat, and Mario. It's to me, a Mario. Wahoo! Well, guys, I have to say this figure is another winner in my book. Now, it is a bummer that Freddy and Shazam have the exact same body sculpt, but if that's the way it is in the movie, then at least it'll be accurate. Anywho, Darla was the winner in the comments, so she will be next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching, and that's it for Captain Sparkle Fingers. That's not my. That's not my name. Hey, no, no, no.